Okay, I'm going to be doing uh, fire lighting, cooking, and then putting out the fire. Uh, before we start, I'm doing this as far as I make sure there's a safe area. Everyone is aware not to enter near the fire uh, unless given permission to do so. Okay, I make sure I have my safety provision to make sure I have a first aid kit, a burns kit, and water to stop the fire spreading. All of that is just off the corner of there, our camera so it gives me a bit of space. Make sure I have enough fuel for my activity. Um, in this case, I'm going to be cooking, so I've made sure I've got my food up here as well. Uh, it's all sealed in sealed containers to keep off the many flies that seem to be around today. Uh, also got some safety gloves. Got my fire steel in my pocket here. Okay, and I've got starting fuel. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to safely start. As I say, the fire still here. What I'm going to do is I built just a little platform, stick down this way and across this way, so that I'm a little bit off the ground. The ground's quite dry here, so I don't want to damage it too much. Uh, normally, I wouldn't want to be too close to a tree. Uh, I am here. Uh, this is the only place I can safely light a fire. Okay, so I'm going to just flush out this cotton wool and put it into the top of my thing like so. Up to my platform here, I'm going to do the same little bit here. Safely onto the platform. Okay, now I'm going to strike my fire still. I've got lots of tiny wood here to be able to use for my kindling. I'm going to strike my fire still. Taking okay, so you can see some of those dry flakes of wood that I had here. Pick that up. Uh, these are just bits that I've been whittling down while I've been doing various activities with my knife. Pine cones here I can put on the edge maybe. Okay, I'm just throwing this up a little bit. Need a few more pieces. Make it a bit larger. Okay. You notice, I'm just trying to, as much as I can, sit one knee up, one knee down. It's a nice stable base. Turn my fire. Okay. As I said before, I haven't got a permanent campfire here, just, uh, just a small one here. Uh, if I had a permanent one, possibly just maybe a bit more raised up to the ground, be able to get into it a bit better. Uh, main difference here comes when I'm putting it out. The idea of fire like this is we try and spread out any. Of the evidence afterwards, it doesn't like we've had a fire here. Whereas the permanent one, we just want to leave it flat and ready for a new fire when we've got one. So I'm just starting to get a bit higher. I'm going to put on on here. Okay, um, I was working with children, obviously, 
all ones cross over the fire, so I teach them how to walk around it like this. Uh, we fuel here. Let's fill this bit of fuel. Uh, now I'm going to be cooking today, unfortunately. I've only got pine wood and some wood from the fig trees around here which isn't the best for cooking because it's heavily smoky but hopefully we should be okay should be able to get at least a little bit of food off here okay get a little bit higher there's pine cones there doing their thing see all the larger wood on and I'll try and make it a bit more windy It's not the best wood, it's very smoky, but it should do a nice job here. Food ready? wood is um, like dead so I can snap it. If I couldn't, we would have to be using our tools. Uh, and a tool area roped off for making sure the wood is the right length. In there. Oh, this house should be there. Out. I'm going for a bit of a pyramid shape on my fire. Um, obviously, it's not the only way of building a fire, but it seems to work well with this wood. As much as possible. Okay. Like I said before, a safe working area, nobody close by. Uh, only allowing people to come into the area. Oh, when they're working with the fire, uh, safety equipment, gloves, these for uh, welding gloves ready for GD working with the fire, water off the camera, first aid kit, burns kit off the camera. Uh, food wise, everything's, when we're done cooking, everything's sealed. Uh, all these insects and flies around here. We've got uh, wipes here to make sure our hands are clean and working with the, uh, the food and things, so we're safer that way. Okay, very nice. And putting this big one on again, coming up and walking around the fire, putting water over it. Let's go, nice and down again. For me, let's get our big wood in. For my purposes, I want to cook them today. I'm not going to need a huge fire. I think. Just lay down a bit, put some heat on. And then we'll get started with the cooking. Is with our fire. Okay, it's burning a little bit. So I'm ready to cook on it. Just waiting for this wood to catch and then burn down a bit. And then I'll have a look at cooking some food on it. Okay, fire's starting to die down a bit. I'm not putting any fuel on since we last. So I'm just trying to. Now flatten it down a bit, ready for our grill to go on. Okay, so we'll hold it a bit high up. If this one's sticking up a bit here, maybe just lie it down. Just go. And fire like this. Remembering always to put your glove on. 
XG fire. Okay. Now it's starting to go down a bit. What can I think about? It's starting to cook on it. Okay, so first thing we need to do here is I'm going to use a grill. So I'll take the grill again with my um, gloved hand. Place the grill safely on top of the fire, like so. Okay. So I'm going to start with uh, some pancakes. Um, I need to eat some morning and I haven't eaten yet. So what I'm going to use is my pan, the grill here. It's just going to burn nicely for a while. So I need my pan. <coughs> It's been sitting here for a while. Uh, what I'm going to do is just wipe it around with some baby wipes and then rinse it with some water before I get started. So, get a baby wipe. Around, I'll dust down a little bit of fire. And the trees here, make sure it's nice and green. I'm going to rinse it with some water to get that taste off. Okay, and then I'm going to eat with the rubbish, remember? I put it away safely over here to take out when I'm ready. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this with some water. Okay, so just some drinking water. Move it around a bit. Dry this out on the fire in the corner, like so. Um, just going to dry that pan out nicely. Just trying to get that water out. Okay, so So for our pancakes, uh, we've got my pan here ready. I've got a spatula here. What I'm going to do with this? I'm just going to lay it on my other gloves here with a thing coming underneath it just to keep the thing off the floor. And this, do this on the handle. Way keeps the actual. A bit off the floor. Okay, um, hands dry now, so I'm adding some oil. So, okay, there's some oil in there. Let's spin that around a bit. Okay, so my pancake mix here is in a jar, so I'm going to give it a bit of a shake. Get it off the fire. I'm going to add that in like this. Spread around and put it back on the fire. Like so, now I've got my spatula. I'm just going to hold it in the corners for a pancake. Again, crouching down as much as possible with one knee on the floor. One up. Normally, I would flip this over. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. It's not particularly safe when you put the oil in the pan uh, when they're around kids and fire. So, what I'm going to do is flip it with the spatula. And it worked. Okay, so bring it off the fire, have a look at it. Around it. See. Oh, bad. Why even? 
whether I cook a pancake the first one always seems to go wrong, but she was doing okay. Uh, obviously a pancake, you've got to make sure that you're, um, uh, one of your learners there are allergic to egg, milk, or flour, um, or gluten. Um, obviously you could gluten free flour if they are, you could use soya milk if they're allergic to dairy. Uh, not sure about the eggs though, way around that. Just be mindful of um, what the specific needs your learners have. Uh, just be careful that you're not. So, obviously the same goes with anything you want to put on your pancake. Another thing, it being egg, we need to make sure that it's cooked properly. There shouldn't be any worries here. Quite a warm fire going on. Just be sure that everything is going safely underneath. Run away from me. The floor is actually the only place that's good for me to build a fire here. It does slope away a little bit in this direction, so I'm mindful that none of my wood's going to roll out. I'm going to be watching it closely. I think. Let's just take these off here. Yeah, my my friend. Flip it over again. Make sure. Yes. Okay. Like that. Nice looking pancake there. So. Uh, we'll eat that, and we're going to get on making some soup. Okay. I'm making some soup now. Uh, again, same with pancakes, I did a lot of prep. Before uh, coming to the forest square, it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, we were doing prep here. I have to make sure everything's cleaned. Make sure we have more water, if we have more water about, so we can clean things off, make sure it's nice and hygienic. Prep away from the forest pool, uh, bring it into the area. It's easier to make sure that everything is hygienic and not getting uh, dusty or dirty when you're making sure everything's in your container. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to pick my cooking pot here. Okay, I'll use my fire and just added in a few more bits of fuel from the side here. Something going on. Okay, first thing we do here, burn. So I'm just going to set my fan. Okay, got to the light that you can that. Uh, screen here to help me. Okay, so I'll put that on there into the pan. Put it back on. Lightly frying these carrots and uh, celery, garlic, just fill up the pan, and the spoon, even the gloved hand goes to the fire. Just be mindful of the edges of the fire still whilst you're cooking. Okay, okay. a pine cone here, just a temporary pencil one. On the floor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go add a bit 
salt. Tastes nice. Okay, let's go that one over into that, making sure your arm, arm's length and looking down into the part and it's too hot. If, you're right, if it is too hot, I can lift it off. Just uh, check how I'm going on. Again, I'm looking around the fire, going over it. So I'm letting that whiskey be burnt. Okay, again, picks off. Give it a stir. Okay, looking good. Okay, I'm going to add in. Those pieces on those kind of cans. No need for a open opener. Add that in. Add in. Uh, in the back goes some white beans. Some white chili beans. And some larger white butter beans. If I can get that open. And there's all. Oops. And then these are some green beans. There you go. Um, this is just a bit of puree that I've got here. I'll add that in. This I open beforehand, so I've got this little, little stuffy thing to go on top of it. Yeah. Uh, all this rubbish we're going to remove to the site afterwards and recycle. I think it's important that you talk about recycling when you're kids, and we're not using any plastic. Here. I'm going to add 
Just a little bit. Okay. So, uh, just keep an eye on this. Let's see. I'll have a look at it. Fire. Get to us nice and cooked. Uh, Safety wise, there's nothing in there that's going to make you feel sick. It's all vegetable based. Uh, again, not much prep because all I used was charred beans. Uh, there's, there's their prep there, apart from chopping up the carrot and celery at the beginning. Uh, just in case this season gets placed where it's ready, we check on it, see how juiced it is, make sure it's bubbling away nicely. Um, yeah, essentially, in soup, I'm going to go and ladle that out with some plastic cups, some spoons, let the kids enjoy. Simple soup, I've got a fire. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, uh, for my next food, uh, I've just let the fire die down a bit so we get it to cook. Uh, so I'm put that away. Tray from here. Ah. Okay, again, nice and simple. I've done most of the prepping already. Do one more. Okay. Uh, what you can do is you can take a normal wrap. Sealed up and apply the end. Okay. Um, take some. After these have been roasted a little bit, so the parsley could be ready. And we'll just that up. Okay. Just making sure that we've kept this nice and clean. Sure, we're not on the, we're using a tray here, so I must have got the floor a bit. Yeah, let's get that in. Even wrap. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, then in. All right. So, real carry on, like I said. Got my baby wipes, washing hands. Clean everything off. Uh, make sure things be kept nice and clean if you want to work in. Okay, in here, grated cheese. Put some of that in. Both of these grated cheese. I want some cheese. Okay, that's right. And these are bacon pieces. Again, sealed up, stop everything getting inside it. Put those on. Okay, here. Brilliant. Let's just get these back in here. I don't want my buzzer over there, so I'm going to close these up. So, uh, paste them inside the pan here. Put that aside. 
in there. Put one next to it. Yeah. So, okay. Pour some tomatoes on top. So, um, some tomatoes nice and even on here. Okay, I like give it a bit more flavour than stop sticking to the bottom pan. Pop on top. Way down a few of these. They're in the pan already. So, just to show you, just there, like that. I've got about eight wraps in the pan. Just gonna put my lid on here. I'm gonna put these over the fire. Ready cooking. Short oil. Leave that a short while. I'm going to put some more baked cheese on top. And I'm just going to clear away some of this food stuff, and then we're back carrying on. Okay. Okay. So having a look into the pan here, and um, taking the lid off, and uh, got my spotted juices coming away. Like I said, keeping the fire at the low down so it's still getting off some heat. I can see my hands here. They're quite hot. There's no big flames, it's not too hot, so I'm just going to cook this away. And all I'll do is just sprinkle some of this cheese, a little bit of cheese onto the top. Okay. Oh, give it a good time if I can. On the top of that. Put some of my wraps there. Now, I'll just show you what I've got in there. This is a close up. I'll see if we can last bit off before we put it back on. Okay, so, like I said before, the fire's now died down. Looks like I've got some hot embers there burning away. It's keeping my food nice and warm. Okay, and into the pan there, we've got the wraps there folded over in half with uh, roasted pepper, some bits of uh, bacon meat in there, and some cheese. Uh, tin tomatoes over the top of the folded lot together. A bit of cheese on top. Okay, we'll put the lid back on in a second. Keep the heat in. Just while that cooks a bit more. You can already see. Shut the can off, but down in this corner here, always some cheese bubbling away in the inside there, cooking away nicely. Okay, so hopefully, a few more minutes with the lid on. These will be ready to eat. Okay, so the uh, cheese there. Nice and nicely away. You can see there. Okay, my fire still burning quite warm. Still a lot of heat coming off there. No flames though, so we can keep this boiling away nicely. Uh, I think it's just about ready. A little bit longer on top, maybe, and we're done. So there we go. So, got some wraps there. Inside the wraps. Um, peppers already cooked up, a uh, little bit of bacon, uh, cubes of bacon, some cheese, fold wraps in half, lay them in a pan, put some tomatoes on top, some cheese, seasoning on top, some pepper, some salt, whatever herb you want, lid on, top of the fire for a little bit, uh, low heat, so all no flames, leave it to cook away, that uh, should taste good. Uh, now it's time to uh, cooking. It's time to put the fire out. Um, obviously, one of the most important things we do right. Obviously, we want the fire to spread. Also, fire to everything else. So, 
just as important as making sure everything's simple and nice, it was working, is making sure that it's out. Also, remember if you're putting out water, it's putting out steam, and we want our learn to be safe from that as well. So I'll make sure it's rubbed on. The um, uh, grill off. Um, bear in mind the grill can still be very hot, you don't want to put it on something that can dry. Right here, we want to come on everything else, so just make sure that's up the side there. Now, what we're going to do is we'll take a cup of water. Okay, and we're going to start the side just gently, arm's length away from the fire. On one side, and now, now, um, what's a nice thing to do is if you're with kids, is maybe to get them to stay. Thank you. Um, in this case, we cook today, so maybe thank you fire for our food. Okay, maybe we could do. It's a cold day, <laughs> like today. So you could say thank you for the warmth. You're looking at the night time for our school. Thank you for the light. Anything you can think of, it's quite nice time to be reflecting uh, what they've done. So we use it as a reflecting session and we point it out. Um, I try and avoid putting a lot of water on because that might produce a lot of steam. And it's not uh, safe. Again, just try and gently pull the water over. Okay, if I'm working from one side across, so I'm sure that this bit's reasonably cool. We could go around the outside, looking way in. What I would do is once you've got reasonably soaking, just run your hand over it, bring it down gradually, see if you feel any heat coming off it, keep trying to calm, just target that area that needs a bit more heat. Okay. Um, we said earlier the sand is slightly soaked off that direction, obviously if you're using water it's running off you want to try and avoid anybody sitting over that way or kneeling over that way when you get too wet so I'm going to take a stick um, now if this was a uh, permanent fire what I would want to do is spread out my ashes a little bit more Any bigger pieces, I want to move these around the edges. They're going to be good for next time when we come to eat the fire. But we want it to be nice and flat. Just hammer down a bit. Okay, make sure it's nice and flat out. Now, you want to do the same with a temporary fire because it's a good time to add some more water in and remove it all. Make sure that it's definitely all out. Okay. And 
plastic, paint, and them all. Do all that. Okay, so that's definitely out. Now, as I said, this was a permanent fly. I want to leave this out here. Bigger pieces off to the side, ready for next time. And we're going to keep our store of dry wood off to one side. So that's ready for <laughs> that's ready for our next, next session. We can find somewhere to keep that where it's going to stay dry and in the pile. Okay, so you can keep it off the side. You can keep your permanent fire there as is. Uh, like that. Now with a temporary fire like I've got here. I'm going to try and leave as much, remove as much traces of the fire as you possibly can. Um, I didn't dig down for this one, the ground's very hard here, so you can dig into. If you dug down, you would fill the hole back in, maybe with a few of the ashes at the bottom. Uh, so I would encourage growth back. Um, in case here, where I just built it on top of the earth. I just want to try and spread this out as much as possible and put back on top any leaf litter or anything we moved out of the way to build our fire and we close the area. I mean, luckily, all this area around here is pretty much the same. No leaf litter, only bits of wood are about from what I brought into the area. So I can just move this off out of the way, spread it around a bit. Um, Making sure again that we're all out of you. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to clear that out of the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've got this piece of post here. Uh, taking this. Screws it up. Try and move as much trace of the fire as possible. Okay. Spread these ashes about. Okay. Now, it's not going to be entirely possible because this is a clay based soil. Uh, it's probably baked the soil itself. It's quite hard. I can just wash that off, spread that around a bit. Turn as much as I can. I'm going to just check. Actually, the ground here is still a bit hard and hot, so I'm just going to add in some more of my water. Show that we all are over water than under. Okay, so now I know that's out. I spread it out as much as possible. Tried to leave it in a state where, uh, tried to leave it in a state where you can just get away with it not being there at all. Again, check over before we leave, make sure there's no heat. Uh, I remove your cooking gear. Move your gloves, make sure everything's cleaned away nicely. Uh, that is safe lighting use and putting it out on a fire. <laughs>